congratulations on your new relationship. Or you're planning to start a new relationship. Well, congratulations either way. Well, the following video presents five fundamental questions I think everyone should ask their significant future other person before committing way too much feelings. So ask these questions early and you, my friend, will save your yourself from a lot of heartache. Take too long and you'll be crying by the end of the summer. <laughs> so uh, just take a minute and uh, watch this and uh, you will not be disappointed. Thank you. Let's w let us watch together. We cannot and we will not and we should not ask the same questions we asked in kindergarten. Uh, Bo, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite food? Um, where do you like to eat? Uh, who's your favorite artist? What's your favorite TV show? We can't be asking these questions. 2024, we're grown folk. We gotta be serious for once and for all. You know, we cannot be here wasting six to seven months, close to a year, dating this crazy person. We don't even know they're crazy because they're pretending to be decent. We get asked the serious questions from the get go. I'm not saying ask these questions to a person the first date you meet. Find a comfortable space. If someone is mentally okay, they won't ha have problems answering these questions if you present them well. First things first, let's talk about these questions. What questions are we asking? Question one, children. That's the first question. How many children do you have? And while we're at it, how many children have you aborted? How many children have you abandoned? These are serious questions. As a guy, uh, are you out here just spreading seed like you some farmer? Are you doing that? As a girl, are you just opening legs for everybody? And while we're at it on that, you got several kids. How many baby daddies do you have and how many baby mamas do you have? Am I getting myself into drama that's unnecessary? Am I dragging myself into an unstable situation? How many kids of those are yours? Yes, there are stepfathers, there are people who do that, there are stepmothers. I'm not saying anything against you. I'm just saying there have been instances where people, they, I've, I've, I've read an article, I don't I remember when, but uh, a guy got married to a girl. And uh, unbeknownst to him, this girl had children. She had three kids. And he thought she didn't have kids. He hid that fact from him because he knew he wouldn't fuck with her because she had three kids. And same thing, niggas do the same thing. They get with girls and say, I ain't got no kids. And later to find out, this nigga abandoned 15, abandoned 10, abandoned 20. So, kids are a very important fact. And we have to look at this. How many kids do you have? Or better yet, how many kids should you have had? If they didn't pass away, uh, unfortunately. The natural way or you didn't murder them or how many kids do you have that you abandoned and jumped ship got a girl pregnant and disappeared how many this is important questions we should be asking people we can't be asking about meals and other nonsense it's important questions another question we should be asking is how much debt do you have how much debt do you have who do you owe money to? And if I get with you, can I sleep with ease knowing that the tax collector, the sheriffs, won't come to my home and start embarrassing me? Y'all people, people get married to people and not know all their debt. And then the sheriffs start calling, start going to your job, start attacking you, wanting their money back. Because once you get married and you join forces and it's with property, not out of property, their debt is your debt. Some people have got a lot of credit card debt. They out here buying designer clothes, looking fancy as fuck on credit. And then you find she got 20000 5000 4000 1000 2000 worth of credit debt. Because he, he went to shopping, he went shopping for clothes. Niggas do the same thing too. I'm not saying only women uh, buy clothes on credit. Everybody does. A lot of people have a lot of debt. Now, the sheriffs are looking for you. Stay away from me. Another question you should be asking is, 
does this person have a job? Of course, people will tell you they work so and so, they work there and there. Okay, fine, you work there and there. How much money are you making on a monthly basis? It's a question you should be asking. We can't be winging it. Mm. Yes, there are niggas that can look after a girl who stays at home. Yes, that is a possibility. But based on the economy right now, it's hard for dudes to be looking after a girl and looking after themselves and looking after a family. And, and women are taking advantage of some of these niggas and, and making them look after them for nothing. So, ask these questions. Do you have a job? But, what, but you, you're about to ask me, hey, Reese, uh, what about students? I'm dating a girl who's in college. I'm dating a girl who's in university. I'm in university. You saying that. Okay. How much is she making? She's making 1.5. She's making 2,000. Make 3,000. Find out how much she's making. And how much you make it. I'm not saying put your finances together. I'm just saying find out what you're working with. And why you at what? If she's in college, what kind of calls is he doing? Is this about to be some useless shit that can't even put food on the table? Find out. And if she's making 1.5, 2.5, the way she's living, the what she's wearing, does it seem possible? How is this girl using an iPhone worth 24000 but her monthly income is one5 Where did she get the money to buy that? Ask yourself these questions. Stop posing for pictures, my dude. And you as a girl, too. This nigga is driving a, a 200000 vehicle. Based on what he says he works, does it seem possible that this nigga can own this shit? Did he borrow it from a friend? Ask yourself these questions and ask this man these questions. A lot of girls have been tricked thinking this guy got a car and later find out it ain't his car. It's his neighbor's car he was looking after. He was actually washing it, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And like, oh, my daddy bought me this phone. Your father, your daddy, or your father. This is a zaddy. This this new term called zaddy, where she fucking expensive, well uh, made men for money. Now your girlfriend got a twenty four thousand phone, but she can't buy herself a plate of food. Really? Is that what we say? Are we saying she can afford designer clothes? She can afford a bag worth five thousand. She can afford shoes worth six, seven, eight thousand, and a phone worth twenty four, thirty five thousand. But this bitch can't even put food on her own plate. Get out of here, man! What are we playing at? We gotta be serious, fam. She's selling Kush, and I'm not talking about weed. I'm serious, fam. We gotta find out these things, and while we're at it, this. Dives this this selling kush dives into the next question. Should I be concerned about um past traumas? As in, do you have a sex tape? Are you doing only that? You got a sex tape rolling around? Am I gonna get married to you and then boom, a sex tape of my beloved wife is out. Boom, a sex tape of your beloved husband is out. These are questions you gotta ask. Nigga, do you record yourself fucking? And if you do record yourself fucking, where are the tapes? Where are the tapes? Delete the motherfucking tapes. Because everybody gets hacked nowadays. Apparently, everybody gets hacked. <laughs> Nobody gets Okay, some people get hacked. I'm just saying, a lot of you getting hacked. And a lot. We saw the IP address. You didn't get hacked, my brother. You released it. Trifle ass. Find these questions out. Does she got daddy issues? Does he have mama issues? Are you going to be babying this nigga? Are you going to babying this girl? If she got daddy issues, she's bound to fuck older niggas. And if you younger or same age as her, she's probably fucking somebody older than you, making that money. And some of these niggas got mama issues too. She probably, he's probably got all this fancy shit because he's fucking someone's mother. And she, she gave him a Van Rover. And he's riding around with his Van Rover in town. And everybody like, oh my god, this nigga's balling. He ain't balling. He fucking, he fucking grandma. That's what he doing. He's not fucking my grandma or your grandma, but he, or his grandma. He, but he fucking somebody's grandma. I ain't, you don't want that. I'm just saying, look out of these things. Look out for these things. Huh? 
does this man have any uh, diseases or things that I should know about? Find out, my friend. And I'm talking. I'm not talking only sexual diseases. I'm talking mental, emotional. Is this nigga on antidepressants? Why is this nigga on antidepressants? If, is this nigga psychotic? What is going on? Ask these questions. Ask them. Don't be out here asking silly questions. Don't be. Because we don't got time for silly questions, boo-boo. We got time to be serious. Silly questions waste time. Five years down the line, three years down the line, six months down the line, you would you ought to turn down niggas that would have been good for you. You ought to turn down girls that would have been good for you. For this trash-ass girl, for this trash-ass nigga. And then you go out here, ah, niggas ain't shit. All oh, these hoes are hoes. Nigga, you the one attracting hoes. You the one attracting ain't shit niggas. You. Because you ain't asking the right questions. You out here asking, what's your favorite alcohol? The alcoholic beverage. What's your favorite nonsense that no one gives a fuck about? Why are you concerned what alcohol this man drinks? Why? Why are you concerned what alcohol this woman drinks? And at the same time, why are we on the alcohol, but... Please, for fuck's sake, ladies. Stop getting fucked for six packs. That's a fine. Jesus Christ. Six packs like Black Label. For fuck's sake. If you don't have money, buy yourself alcohol. Just stay at home. Stay at home. Jesus. Why are you out here? Why? why? You don't have money to buy alcohol. Why are you out? Not wearing panties and whatnot. Only to be fucked for alcohol. Really? Are you degrading your womanhood for nonsense? And then you get pregnant with several dudes and you don't know who the father is. And then you got to pin down on some poor nigga who didn't even know right. Because you told him to hit raw. And he's like, oh, I'm hitting raw. I'm hitting raw. And then boom, you're pregnant. But it ain't his because he's dumb. Go get a fucking DNA test, dudes. Here's my advice. With every child, it seems like I'm all over the place now. But with every child, but the, the five points are somewhere along this shit. With every child you have, get a DNA test. I don't give a shit if your grandma say he, he looked like your great-great-grand-grandfather. Why the fuck is this kid looking like my grandfather instead of me? But you look like a grandpa. I don't give a fuck. He better look like me. In fact, I don't give a shit if you look like me. I'm getting a DNA test. Get a DNA test for every goddamn child. Every single one. They could all look the same. Just get a DNA test. Rather be safe than sorry. Best policy. So, boys, get a DNA test. And women, please. If you're going to pass your pussy around. You're going to be throwing your pussy around. Use protection. For fuck's sakes. You cannot be here getting pregnant with everybody. And niggas, please, stop fucking ghost girl after girl like you collecting Pokemon. I'm going to catch them all, I said. I'm going to catch them all. Why are you catching them all? Just don't. So, don't do that. We talked about debt. We talked about a job. We talked about children. We talked about past traumas. Now. Let's talk about violence. Is this man or woman prone to violence? Are they? Has this nigga ever beaten up a girl? Has he ever hospitalized a girl? Not with his dick. If he's done that with his dick, congratulations. But you found Mandingo. We're not talking about that. We're talking about hospitalizing a girl with his fists. Boom! Blue eye. Boom! Knocks your teeth out. That's how you talking now. You got to put on false teeth like you grandma. Ask yourself these questions. Find out. The world is beautiful nowadays. You can actually Google the nigga. You can actually Facebook, find out, research the nigga. Does this nigga have violent tendencies? Does this girl have violent tendencies? Is she toxic? I know being toxic is exciting. Oh my gosh, you do all crazy shit. Because when you're toxic, you're always fucking the most absurd places. Oh, she was scratching my face and then we fucked in the bathroom with them all. Oh, it was amazing. Yep, but she scratched your damn face. You got scars now, Jimbo. So, ask these questions. Does she have... I don't know if you're asking her personally... Are you asking yourself? But these are questions you need to find out. Does this woman have violent tendencies? If she mad, 
Will she break my windscreen? Will she toss your phone to the wall? I always say, when a relationship is new, make the other person mad. Piss them off. Like, really piss them off. Like, to find out how they'll act. It's better, to, you know, because when a relationship is new, it's all harmonious. Because y'all could be in harmony for the next two years and you get married and this woman has never been upset. Like, really upset. And then suddenly she breaks all the TVs and all the furniture because she's mad at you for some stupid shit. You did. I get it. You guilty, my nigga. But do you really need a woman who's going to lose her shit and start ruining property? You don't. You don't need that. And do you really need a nigga who's going to punch you in the face when he upset with you? When he upset with what you did? You don't need that. You don't. So find out. I don't know how you're going to find out. You're going to Google this nigga. You're going to ask this nigga friends. You're going to ask everybody. If he upset that you're asking me, because something wrong with this nigga initially. Because if you're sitting down and asking people these five questions I just laid on you. Like, do they have abortions? Do they have kids that they have abandoned? If you're asking these questions. Of course, you're going to ask them in a subtle way. But these are questions you need to know. Answers you need to know. Hmm? Do they have employment? Are they self-employed? Are they schooling? If they're schooling, what kind of course they're taking? And what's the projectile of that course in the long run? Uh, uh, is that job self-sufficient? Is that job for unemployment? Uh, what's the normal rate that people take before they get employed? Some people go to college and then spend the next 10 years looking for a job of their specified qualifications. And they end up working jobs that are not even related to what they studied, which means just wasted four years of college. Can you take that burden as a guy or as a girl of dating a girl who goes to college and then does not get a job afterwards? Now she's your burden because you married her or you dated her for a while now. You you committed emotionally and financially and everything. And you can't jump ship because you love her, which is a beautiful thing. It's a question you need to ask. Mm. Does he have any past traumas? I know this is a question you should. Has he ever been raped? Has she ever been molested? Have you ever been raped as a guy? Have you ever been molested as a guy? These are questions people need to be asking. Because I don't want to be sleeping next to you and be like, mm -hmm. and you're out here losing your shit. Yes, it's not fair. I'm not saying if you experience rape or molestation or, you know, you got a kid because you were raped or because of a defilement case, you were coerced, manipulated. I get those things. I'm not saying if people have kids, don't date them. I'm not saying... People have debt, don't date them. I'm not saying people don't have jobs, don't date them. I'm not saying that. I'm not even saying if people beat people, don't date them. I'm just saying ask these questions so you know what's on your path. What's coming for you. Ask these questions. Because these are very important questions you need to find out. Because if a woman or a guy has past traumas, that will take a lot of toll on the relationship if it's not properly dealt with. Like, if you love her, great. Get her some counseling. Get her some therapy. I'm giving you the advice on some of the things to solve these situations. You know, get them therapy, counseling, and whatnot. Talk about the situations and find uh, uh, solutions to move forward on. It's a fly. Sorry. Um, Find uh, out possible, you know, solutions. That, that fly distracted me there for a second. That damn fly. As soon as I find it, I'll kill it. I don't know if I'm going to kill it on camera or what, but anyway, look for these things. And if she has debt or he has debt, let's find out. Is she able, what's the process of her or him getting to pay all this debt? Yes, you got debt. How are you paying it off? Some people, don't get me wrong about people having debt or asking people to have their debt. Some people have debt and they're paying it well. There's no issues with where they got the loan or, or or the money, what what it's being paid for. And there's no issues whatsoever. But it's always nice to know because once you're married, that debt becomes part of you. You take some of the debt as well. The loan becomes your loan because you decided to share property. That means you share liabilities as well. You're sharing assets and whatnot. You're ripping the benefits and some of the, you know, mishaps and stuff like that. So, yeah, look into that. But be careful what you're getting yourself into. So, jobs, children, 
past traumas, those very important debt and violent nature. I feel like if you can ask a person these five questions and get proper answers without starting a crazy fight or unnecessary nonsense, you'll you'll position yourself into a stable and solid relationship because if you know these five things, I feel like these five things are the most things that can make a person stay or go. Like when we're talking about past traumas, I forgot to introduce that to add. You got to ask what happened to the last relationship? Why did the last relationship end? It's a past trauma in itself because there's no such thing as relationship ended and it didn't affect you in any possible way. So we got to find out why that relationship ended and what caused the end. Who was at fault? These are things that you should be asking. Yes. As well as you're asking, you also have to be prepared to answer these questions. Some people have a tendency of asking people some of the most undifficult or difficult questions, but don't have the kahunas or the balls or the guts uh, or, or the ovaries <laughs> to answer the questions themselves back. So while you're asking these questions, have the balls to answer them. So in summary of what we've talked about, um, in no particular order, I don't even know what was the order of saying these things. Does uh, this person have any violent uh, nature? Have they committed any crimes? Have they been in jail? What type of crimes did they commit? That sort of stuff. You need to know who you plan to raise children with. You're raising children with a criminal or someone who just got on the wrong side of the law and, uh, you know, got arrested or something like that. These things happen, of course. Some people got criminal cases and went to jail because somebody said some stupid shit and they punched them in the face. Now they got an assault case. It's not that major. You know, or they were protecting a girl or something like that. These things happen. You know, he committed murder, uh, manslaughter, because uh, somebody did something to his friend or family member and he punched them and the guy died. Uh, I'm not saying, let's all say, fuck all the people with criminal records, fuck all the people with heinous crimes and murder. No. Look at, ask these questions so you know the circumstances and whatnot. Yes, I understand some of these questions will be insensitive to ask people, but these are very good questions to ask. Ask about any criminal behavior, whether it be domestic violence, uh, uh, base robbery, murder, rape, all that. Ask these people, have they committed these crimes or have these crimes been committed against them? And that also delves into the past trauma incident. Mm. How these crimes on that uh, sort of affected them? Uh, uh, do you have any other uh, substantial crimes or past traumas that are within you? You got raped. I already mentioned that. Uh, you got daddy issues, mommy issues. How are we dealing with that? You know, these type of questions. What's your mental health uh, status? How how sane are you? Ask these questions and find out the proper answers. And find out this person is making money and how are they making money? Uh, uh, you know, you don't want to be dating a girl who, who stands at the street corner and, you know, uh, makes money off, you know, selling her privates. You don't want a guy doing the same thing because niggas are doing the same thing too. You think a man is straight, boom, this nigga's fucking dudes or getting fucked by dudes for money. He ain't gay. I don't know if he's gay, he bisexual or what. But he dating you, taking on expensive dates and dinners because some guy is fucking his ass. Or oh, he's fucking some guy's ass. Yes, he's bisexual and whatnot. We're not talking about, we're not against all the sexuality on that. I'm just saying, find out how this person is making money. It's very important. Finances are comfortable. People lose their cool if you start asking about money, start asking about jobs. So let's find out what people and how they're making money. And find out if they have any debts and paying them all that. And lastly, children. Find out if they have children. How many kids do they actually have? How many kids they sh should or they should be having? Should or should be having as in has they lost any kids? As in through miscarriages to uh, the death of a child. It's a very sad thing to go through. A miscarriage is a very sad thing to go through. Uh, did they do abortions? Uh, what was the circumstances of these abortions? You know, were you molested then you had to do an abortion? Were you raped then you had to do an abortion? Or were you just being a whore so you're just doing abortions for the sake of that? Let's find out these things. And as a guy... Uh, uh, find out uh, as a girl ask this man how many kids does he have how many kids does he did he pay a girl to abort 
How many abortions is he responsible for? A lot of people always say women committed abortions, but how many of these abortions are niggas responsible for? Some niggas actually give women money and then they coerce them to getting abortions. How many abortions have you been responsible for? Ask that man. How many kids have you abandoned? Ask that man. Ask these questions. How many kids have you lost and stuff? Past traumas and whatnot. We can't be asking uh, people what their favorite drink is, or where their favorite vacation spot is, when they don't even have money to, to buy food. Mm. People out here with expensive phones, expensive cars, and, and, and they somehow, y'all can't buy a meal to eat? So you're going nigga to nigga, dick to dick, to get food. And lastly, piece of advice, please, for fuck's sake. Learn how to cook. Whether you're a guy or a, or a woman. Just learn how to cook for fuck's sake. We cannot be going out on dates every night. And you're not going to cock out half of the bill. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And women. If you're going to compare guys. Um, financial status. Financial well-being. Try comparing him to your father. Yes. I said it. Don't be out here asking niggas if they've got cars. When your father never had a car. Don't you ask the niggas if. If. They, he broke, he don't give me money. How much money does your father give you on a monthly basis? This is just a bonus advice, basically. Ask yourself these questions. Before you're asking a man, how come he don't got a car? Blah, blah, blah. Ask yourself, does your father that? I know. This is advice in the sense that people, certain people say they won't date niggas without cars. And certain dudes say they won't date girls without certain things. Ask yourself, do your parents have that? I can't date a girl who can't cook. Can your mama cook, nigga? Can she? I want a woman who cleans. Does your mama clean? You can't try to... I get it. You also want something better than where you came from. But don't be trying to better yourself with other people's hard work. Work hard yourself, then better yourself. Okay, I've lost the plot. I'm out of here. It's been a pal. It's been, it's been a pal. It's been a blast. <laughs> Adios.